He's known for creating some of the best edited videos on YouTube. However, it's not just about the video content, it's also about whether the packaging can attract clicks. For such a complex thumbnail design, it's no surprise that Photoshop is the best alternative. In this video, I'll show you how one of Magnet's media thumbnails was crafted. The entire design process took over two hours, including the time spent masking various assets. So if you're interested in the extended version of this video and access to files and assets, you can find them on Patreon using a link in the description below. I began by placing the masked image of Mario onto the canvas I had created. I duplicated the layer, flipped it horizontally and masked out unwanted portions. I obtained an AI-generated image of Evil Mario from the internet. I used the warp tool to adjust its shape until it matched my vision. Following that, I added Mario's cape, shaping it using liquify to fit snugly on the head. I then introduced a wood texture and applied perspective transformation to create a wood top surface. I could not locate a suitable image of gloved hands, so I decided to create one from scratch. I started with a low resolution hand image, saturating it completely. Then I introduced a cloth texture to give the hand a glove-like appearance, carefully masking the cloth texture onto the hand and adjusting its blend mode to hard light. To enhance the effect, I duplicated the hand layer, placed it over the first and using a brush tool, I carefully painted away the nails and other details before changing the blend mode to multiply. Following that, I added a white shape behind the hand to emphasize its gloved appearance. I reapplied the cloth texture, shaping it to fit the form and added additional details through shadowing. To complete the picture, I duplicated the hand, mirrored it and placed it on the other side to create the second hand. Moving forward, I introduced poker chips onto the table, then a Nintendo logo in the background and stacks of cash behind the central character. I scattered more poker chips across the table, with some chips appearing to fly out of frame at the bottom corners. Now for the background, I created a solid layer with a light blue color and another one with a white color. I inverted the layer mask on the white color solid layer to hide the layer and using a soft round brush, I selectively revealed the white background behind the main subject. To align with the original design, the cash stacks needed to be green, so I used a hue saturation layer with colorize option checked to achieve the desired appearance. Returning to the face, the colors were inconsistent, so I decided to make some adjustments. I converted the entire face to black and white and meticulously colorized it from scratch. Employing a gradient map, which was clip masked to the face layer, I created a gradient closely resembling natural skin tones. I then masked the effect from areas such as the eyes, the mouth, and the rest of the facial hair. Now, according to the original design, the eyes were blue, so I employed the hue and saturation layer to give them a striking blue hue. Using a red solid layer set to soft light blend mode, I introduced a touch of red to the inside of the mouth. Additionally, I applied an exposure adjustment layer, increasing the exposure and then selectively masking it to enhance the teeth and whites of the eyes. Furthermore, I created another exposure adjustment layer above the table layer, reducing the exposure then hid it. I then used a soft round brush to paint shadows cast by the poker chips. For extra realism, I added motion blur to the chips exiting the frame from the corner. 
finish off the composition, I continue to refine lighting effects before applying a final camera raw filter. I further fine-tune the lighting of camera and here is the final result.